Hey guys, Ryan here. Today we're going to be doing The Walking Dead. Here's Negan review. So, I just finished reading it, like, literally a minute ago. Um, and it is, wow. I heard quite a few people complain about how boring it was. Well, duh. It's going to be boring if they only gave you four pages a month. Obviously, you're going to complain. But when you read it as a full 64 page, you know, thing, it's really, really good. Um, so first... We start off, it's just a little preview page of here's Negan, you know, he's building Lucille right there over the campfire. Um, so then we get into the actual thing. So then we have Negan playing ping pong with some of his students, because he is a gym teacher. Um, his wife Lucille comes out to talk to him. She um, faints, then he um, she wakes up, I mean, she, yeah, she wakes up in the hospital, um, and then... Uh, the doctor comes in and says, I'm afraid I have some very unfortunate news. Um, and then they're crying. And then you have Negan punching um, a bag, like a wrestling bag, you know. Then you also have him coaching Jim, him helping his wife. And then he's in having some fun with another lady. And then he tells him about his wife. Um, he comes home, tells his wife he ended it. And then she gets mad. She's like, what? Why'd you end it? I'm, I'm going to be gone very soon. But then, anyways... Um, so back to, like, normal life, kind of. Well, actually, it's not normal. Um, she loses her hair. Then she's in the hospital. She's really not doing well, you know. And then all of a sudden, people come running through. Wait, guys, we got to get out of here. Let's get out. And then he turns, and he looks out the window. And then all of a sudden, um, a car is on fire. And then a little boy runs out. And then he puts a, uh, like, cabinet kind of thing in front of the window. And then he is, like, talking to his wife and stuff. And then he's crying. And then he goes back over and he sees some uh, uh walker surrounding a car and then all of a sudden he hears that uh, and it's his wife as a walker right there um and then she falls out of the uh, bed and yeah he can't he can't put her down so he kisses her on the head and leaves and then he goes and saves the little boy um, and then the little boy goes to put down his wife. Uh, and then they're leaving. The little boy gets eaten. He's out on the road, runs into a few people. They get surrounded. They all die. He gets a, he, and then he uses a baseball bat to kill all of, to kill all the rest of the walkers. And then he keeps it and it keeps going on. He finds more people. They die. More, another person, he, they die. This girl and boy. He, the boy dies, and then the girl dies, of course. And then he's in the woods, you know, and then all of a sudden we get introduced to Dwight. So then he takes him back, we get to introduced to Sherry, you know, all that cool stuff. They're clearing out, I don't know what you call it, like a hotel or something. And then, bam, this also full page of Negan, he's completely surrounded by walkers. Um, I don't know how he made it out, but he did. So, uh, and then he says, follow me, and they do. This is when we, he finally finds his leather jacket on a chair, um, right there. And then and a guy in his group come out. He gives his jacket to a woman, and then the guy says, whatever you want to do to her. You know, like, because you know how Negan's really against rape. Um, so then Negan, bam, um, the guy shoves him into barbed wire. Negan smashes his head in with a baseball bat. He makes Lucille, um, as you guys can see right there, um, and then he says, I think it's time I told you about Lucille, and then he explains to everybody about how this is what they're going to be, they're going to be the saviors, um, and if pe anybody tries to hurt them, um, we'll show them who's boss, and then, and he says, uh, so, then, uh, and he says, we'll show them. Because here's Negan. So, this is so cool. This cover blew my mind when it was introduced a while ago. Um, so yeah. I loved, um, the Here's Negan as a whole. I don't know if I would have really cared for it. <clears throat> Getting four pages a month. That's really, that's really little. But this as a whole really is great to find out one character's backstory. The fact that he actually fa spent this much extra time. Along with Walking Dead, Invincible, Outcast, all that, he decided to make an extra thing just for the fans. So, Robert Kirkman definitely is, and so is Charlie Adler. They're definitely, and Cliff Rathburn, they're definitely all 
um, commit to the fans. Because those are the only three people that did it. Steph, Stefan Gardinaro. I can understand why he didn't do it, kind of, because, you know, uh, he's doing Walking Dead. And now he has his own comic book series called Gasolina. I do have a variant for it, but it's pretty cool. So, yeah, very sad. Invincible 144 is the last issue that's going to be of Invincible. They just released the cover the other day. So, really sad. I'll definitely pick it up and I'll review it. Um, but, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys next time on our HTWD channel.